guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech and I'm back with another video. In this video, I will be conducting another FPS test with the newly released Apex Legends Mobile. Now, since this game is region locked to specific areas due to this being only a soft launch, I am required to use a VPN software. Based on my testing, it seems the only VPN softwares that have worked is Nord and Express VPN. Both VPN applications do require a subscription. However, the good news is both also have a week free trial. Anyways, as usual, I will show real-time FPS during gameplay, test in 25 Celsius ambient temperature, and discuss in more detail FPS, temperature, and GPU usage averages at the end of this video. Last, I did set everything to max graphical settings and frame rate. Original graphical quality is only limited to balanced frame rate, which is 30 FPS. Therefore, I'm limited to extreme HD graphics in order to select that 60 frames per second option. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you at the end of this video. Round, round one, beginning ring countdown. We get lots of damage outside this ring. Charging on my shields. Machine battery here. All father took me sight. Taking a moment to recharge my shields.
Stop here. Level three. So starting with thermals, this iPhone is peaking at 45 Celsius after 18 minutes of testing. This is extremely high. I definitely encourage using a phone cooler if you're wanting to play at current max settings. If you're playing back-to-back -back games, 45 Celsius is not a temperature you want to keep your device at. On a side note, I do believe using a VPN application while playing does play a factor in these high thermals. Now let's talk about FPS. If you've watched the full test, then it's no surprise that it averaged 59 frames per second after 18 minutes of testing, and this is impressive. This device basically maintained a steady 60 frames per second during the full 18 minutes. However, I must note, I did experience slight screen dimming for those of you looking to play back-to-back -back games. My second game, I noticed the screen dropped to 80% brightness. So again, playing this game at max settings for any longer than 18 to 20 minutes does require a phone cooler. Last but not least, moving on to GPU usage, this was very surprising. I only averaged 61% GPU usage, which is again very good news for those wondering if this phone is future-proof and can handle future updates in graphics as well as a potential 90 FPS option. In conclusion, the iPhone 13 Pro Max handles Apex Legends Mobile with ease. As you saw, I averaged a steady 60 frames per second. However, thermals were extremely high. I definitely encourage either playing with a phone cooler or dropping settings down from max if you're deciding to play back-to-back -back games while using a VPN application. With that being said, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for future camera tests. 
and I'll see you all next time.